From Republica Dominicana, the Dominican Republic, the 26th annual Miss Universe Beauty Pageant. Here at the palace of the President of the Dominican Republic is our reigning Miss Universe from Israel, Rena Messinger. Let's join Rena in a royal coach as she proceeds through the streets of the city of Santo Domingo to the 1977 Miss Universe pageant. Theater in Santo Domingo, the capital of Dominican Republic, where tonight 80 beautiful young ladies from 80 countries around the globe will compete for the title Miss Universe of 1977. And all brought to you by Lemon Fresh Joy. See that joy shine appear right before your eyes. And by Came, the soft, smooth, beautiful feeling. And by Crest, the cavity fighter.
countries on six continents. Here are the most beautiful girls in the universe. Bienvenidos, damas y caballeros. Estoy muy feliz de estar en uno de los países más lindos del mundo, la República Dominicana. Tonight, the Miss Universe pageant is coming to you live from a city called Santo Domingo, in a country called the Dominican Republic on an island called Hispaniola in the West Indies, and if all of that sounds beautiful and romantic and exotic, that's just exactly what it is. 19,000 square miles of constant sunshine and five million smiling, warm, wonderful amigos. We're honored to have with us tonight the Vice President of the Dominican Republic, Senor Rafael Goico Morales. the director of tourism for the Dominican Republic, a gentleman who has worked very hard to make this year's pageant so successful, Senor Pedro Morales Trunquiso.
As you know, he is Senor Truncoso. In Espanol, no es bueno, pero voy a tratar de hacerlo. This year we have more contestants from more countries throughout the world than ever before in the history of the Miss Universe pageant. We have 80 contestants, and I know you're anxious to get to know them. So let's meet them right now in the original national costumes they brought from their own countries. Here are the 80 candidates for Miss Universe of 1977 in the Parade of Nations. Miss Antigua! Muy buenas noches a todos. Good evening, everyone. I am Cheryl Gibbons from the city of St. John. Gracias. Miss Argentina. Buenas noches, señoras y señores. Mi nombre es Marisa Jurado. Soy de la ciudad de La Plata, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Miss Aroma. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Margaret Albert Oldebar, and I come from Aruba, an island that's fighting out for her independence. Thank you. Miss Australia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jill Minahan, and I'm from the city of Melbourne. Miss Austria. Buenas noches. My name is Eva Düringer, and I come from Dornbirn. Ba Miss Bahamas. Buenas noches, señoras y señores. Mi nombre es Paulette Borja. Yo represento el país de las 700 hermosas islas en el sol, las Bahamas. Gracias. Miss Barbados. Buenas noches. Good night. My name is Margaret Rouse. I'm from the Paris of St. James. Thank you. Miss Belgium. Buenas noches, good evening, bonsoir mesdames, bonsoir messieurs, je m'appelle Claudine Vasseur, je viens de Bruxelles. Miss Bailey's. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dora Maria Perlip, and I'm from the Cayo district, thank you. Miss Bermuda. Buenas noches, my name is Connie Frith, I am from the parish of Devonshire in the beautiful islands of Bermuda. Miss Bolivia. Buenas noches, damas y caballeros. Me llamo Liliana Gutiérrez y vengo de Santa Cruz, Bolivia. Gracias. Miss Brazil. Buenas noches. Carlos Jenis Moraes Silveira, São Paulo, Brasil. Miss British Virgin Islands. Buenas noches a todos. Good evening, everyone. My name is Andrea Norman, I am, and I am from Road Town on the island of Tortola. Thank you. Miss Canada voted Miss Unity by her fellow contestants. Good evening. My name is Pamela Merson. I'm from Burnaby, British Columbia. Miss Chile. Buenas noches. Mi nombre es Priscila Brenner. Vengo de Santiago de Chile. Miss Colombia. Miss Costa Rica. Buenas noches. Mi nombre es Claudia María Garnier y vengo de San José de Costa Rica. Miss Curacao. Público presente. Muy buenas noches. My name is Regine Trump. I'm representing the island of Curacao. Miss Denmark. Good evening. My name is Ingeline Allen from San Thank you. Miss Dominican Republic. Santo Domingo, Blanca Aurora Sardina. Buenas noches. Miss Ecuador. Buenas noches, mi nombre es Lucía Hernández, vengo de Chon, Ecuador. Gracias. Miss El Salvador. Buenas noches, mi nombre es Altagracia Arevalo y vengo de Hilo Vasco. Miss England. Good evening, my name is Sarah Long and I come from the city of Bristol. Miss Finland. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Armia Vico from Helsinki. Miss France. Good afternoon. Good evening. My name is Veronique Pago. I come from Tours. Miss French Guiana. Bonsoir. Je m'appelle Ebine Randel et je viens de Cayenne. Miss Germany. Good evening. My name is Marie Louise Gassman. I come from Munich. Miss Greece. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Maria Spadizaki. I come from Athens. 
Miss Guadalupe. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. Je m'appelle Catherine Vénès et je viens de la Guadeloupe. Miss Guam. How's the day? My name is Lisa Queso and I'm from the village of Derido, Guam. Miss Haiti. Bonsoir, je suis Françoise Eli et viens de Port-au-Prince. Miss Allen. Good evening, my name is Ineke Behrens from Amsterdam. Miss Honduras. Buenas noches, damas y caballeros. Mi nombre es Carolina Rauser. Vengo de Cihuatepeque, Honduras. Gracias. Miss Hong Kong. Good evening. I'm Loretta Chu from Hong Kong. Miss Iceland. Good evening. My name is Christian Atramso. I'm from Reykjavik. Miss India. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Denisa Booth from the capital city of India, Delhi. Miss Indonesia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nur Arifin, and I come from Palembang, South Sumatra. Miss Ireland. Good evening, my name is Jackie Moore, and I come from Dublin. Miss Israel. Hello, and good evening. My name is Ava Gadi, and I come from Kiyad Bialik, near Haifa. Miss Italy. Buonasera, sono Paola Biasini, vengo da Milano. Miss Japan. Muy buenas noches. Mi nombre es Kyoko Sato. Vengo de Tokyo, Japón. Miss Korea. Best national costume. Buenas noches. My name is Sung Lee Kim. I come from Seoul. Miss Lebanon. Miss Liberia. Good evening. I'm Wilma Campbell from the city of Monrovia. Miss Malaysia. Hello, everybody. I'm Leong Li Ping. I come from the world's richest tin mining city, Ipoh. Miss Malta. Buenas noches, my name is Jane Saliba, I come from the city of Hamburg. Miss Mauritius. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dania Buick, I come from Kiev. Miss Mexico. Muy buenas noches, mi nombre es Felicia Mercado, de Baja California, México. Miss New Zealand. Buenas noches, good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is Donna Schultz from the city of Palmerston North. Thank you. Miss Nicaragua. Buenas noches, señores y señores. Mi nombre es Beatriz Obregón, represento Rivas, Nicaragua. Gracias. Miss Northern Marianas. Half a day, my name is Margarita Camacho. I come from Saipan. Miss Norway. Good evening. I live in Oslo. Miss Panama. Buenas noches, señoras y señores. Mi nombre es Marina Valenciano y soy la representante de Panamá. Miss Papua New Guinea. Good evening. My name is Sarah Kalku. I'm from Fort Moresby. Miss Paraguay. Buenas noches, me llamo Leticia Sarza y vengo de Concepción, Paraguay. Miss Peru. Buenas noches, mi nombre es María Isabel Frías, vengo de Lima, Perú. Miss Philippines. My name is Ana Lorraine here and I come from the city of Baguio, but I'm in Salamat for. Miss Puerto Rico. Buenas noches, aquí María del Mar Rivera de Ponce, Puerto Rico. Miss Reunion. Bonsoir, je m'appelle Violaine Morel et je viens de San José. Miss Samoa. I'm Virginia Caroline Suka from the village of Fontomo. Miss Scotland. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sandra Bell and I come from the city of Motherwell. Thank you.
Miss Singapore. Buenas noches, damas y caballeros. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marilyn Sim from Singapore. Miss South Africa. Good evening, I'm Glenna Christie from Cape Town. Miss Spain. Good evening, buenas noches. Me llamo Luz María Polera Hernández. Soy de las Islas Canarias, de la isla de Tenerife. Miss Sri Lanka. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Subodhini Nagesan and I come from Rajagiri. Thank you. Miss St. Kitts. Good evening, my name is Anna Frank from Basque. Miss St. Lucia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ivan Lua Mendes and I come from Castri. Thank you. Miss St. Martin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mary Bayrad and I come from Marigold. Miss Suriname. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marlene Simon and I come from Paramaribo, Suriname. Thank you. Miss Sweden. Good evening. My name is Peggy Salim and I come from Sweden. Muchas gracias. Miss Switzerland. Bonsoir, Madame Commission. Mon nom est Alien. Je vous dis bonjour. Miss Tahiti. Good evening, my name is Una Una and I come from Tafesi, Castillo of Tahiti. Thank you. Miss Thailand. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ladawa and I come from Thailand. Miss Trinidad Tobago voted Miss Photogenic by the press photographer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Janelle Comission and I come from the city of Port of Spain. Miss Uruguay. Buenas noches, mi nombre es Adriana Umpierre y vengo de Salto. Muchas gracias. Miss USA. Buenas noches, my name is Kim Pound, class in Houston, Texas. Miss Venezuela. Buenas noches, me llamo Cristal Montañez y vengo de Caracas, Venezuela. Gracias. Miss Virgin Islands. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Denise George from Charlotte, Amalia, St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. Thank you. Miss Wales. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Christine Murphy, and I come from the city of Swansea. Thank you. Miss Yugoslavia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Liliana Shabaych. I come from Belgium. And there they are, the 1977 Miss Universe delegates in the Parade of Nations. Dominicana or Dominican Garden. Okay, isn't it lovely? While Bob Barker hosts the show on our very beautiful stage, I'll be up here bringing you some interesting and unusual facts about the contestants and about our charming host country. Bob mentioned that the Dominican Republic is on the island of Hispaniola, but do you know who discovered Hispaniola and when? Well, it's a tough question, but a very easy answer. Christopher Columbus in 1492. In fact, this capital city of Santo Domingo was the very first city in the Western Hemisphere to be founded by Europeans. So, it's a very appropriate country for an international event like the Miss Universe pageant. And a very beautiful country, too, as you'll see throughout the evening. Regresaremos después de este mensaje de fresco limón joy. We will return after this message from Lemon Fresh Joy. <laughs> Throughout this week, all 80 of the ladies have had plenty of time to be tourists, and we put their adventures on tape for you. So now you can watch all of the contestants modeling in their Catalina swimsuits, and at the same time, see some of the most interesting sights in the Dominican Republic. Here we go! This is one of the Caribbean's most beautiful resorts. Until a few years ago, it was just acres and acres of virgin territory. Now it's Casa de Campo. 
vacation paradise for tennis players, golfers, swimmers, and sun worshippers, like these young ladies from the Middle East, Asia, and Africa. This is Miss Hong Kong. Miss India. Miss Israel. Miss Japan. Miss Korea. Miss Lebanon. Miss Liberia. Miss Malta. Miss Singapore. Miss South Africa. Miss Sri Lanka. The Casa de Campo golf course is unique. This is the famous eighth tee, which is practically in the Caribbean. And here come the contestants from Europe. Miss Austria here. Miss Belgium. Miss Denmark. England. Miss Finland. Miss France. Miss Germany. Miss Greece. Miss Holland. Miss Iceland. Miss Ireland. Miss Italy. Miss Norway. Miss Scotland. Miss Spain. Miss Sweden. Miss Switzerland. Miss Wales. And Miss Yugoslavia. It's easy to enjoy the sunny tropical splendor of Casa de Campo. Just ask these contestants from the Orient and the Pacific nations. This is Miss Australia. And here comes Miss Guam. This is Miss Indonesia. Miss Malaysia. Miss Mauritius. Miss New Zealand. Miss Northern Mariana. Miss Papua New Guinea. Miss Philippines. Miss Reunion. Miss Samoa. And 
Miss Tahiti. Nicholas de Ovando was the founder of the city of Santo Domingo, and his first home has been restored and turned into this beautiful colonial inn. Here in the center courtyard are the ladies from North, Central, and South America, beginning with Miss Argentina. Miss Belize. Miss Bolivia. Miss Brazil. Miss Canada. Miss Chile. Miss Colombia. Miss Costa Rica. Miss Ecuador. Miss El Salvador. Miss Honduras. Miss Mexico. Miss Nicaragua. Miss Panama. Miss Peru. Miss Suriname. Miss Uruguay. Miss USA. And Miss Venezuela. Here at the ruins of a 16th century monastery are the contestants from the islands. First, Miss Antigua. Miss Aruba. Bahamas. Miss Barbados. Miss Bermuda. Miss British Virgin Islands. Curacao. Miss Dominican Republic. Miss Puerto Rico. Miss St. Kitts. Miss St. Lucia. St. Martin. Miss Trinidad Tobago. And Miss Virgin Islands. And here is a sensational bird's eye view of one of the most spectacular sights in the Caribbean. You're looking at one of the water wonders of this part of the world. Dominicans call this the Teatro Agua Luz. That means theater of water and light, where the gigantic, multicolored fountains put on quite a show. 
And here, adding to the festivities, are all 80 contestants for the 1977 Miss Universe title, saluting the charm and beauty of Santa Domingo and all of the Dominican Republic. Since the first Miss Universe pageant back in 1952, 25 beautiful young women have worn the Miss Universe crown. I want to tell you, European girls have walked off with the title eight times, and so far, that's more than any other continent. But Asia has had six winners. South America, five. North America, five, including four from the Miss USA, four from the USA, and one from Puerto Rico. And there's been one Australian Miss Universe. Now, this year, four countries have entered contestants for the very first time. Miss British Virgin Islands, Miss French Guiana, Miss St. Kitts, and Miss St. Lucia. And if one of them wins tonight, the other girls we can just call it uh, beginner's luck. We will return after this message from Tide. All of our 80 beautiful contestants took part in preliminary judging earlier in the week, and each one of them has had a personal interview with each of these judges. Now it's time to learn which 12 candidates the judges have chosen as semi-finalists. So let's bring back all of the contestants in Patty O'Neill dresses in a blend of Nomel acrylic and wool. The Miss Universe candidates for 1977. Mark Puritz, may I have that list, please? The names of the 12 semi-finalists are on this card, but the girls have no idea which of them have been selected, and since our judges vote individually, even they don't know which 12 ladies received the highest total scores. Now, contestants, I want you to understand that this list is not in alphabetical order, so if you don't hear your name immediately, don't despair. Here we go. The first of the semi-finalists is Miss Scotland! Yes, audience, you like her. How do you like Miss Trinidad Tobago? You're in a good mood. Here comes Miss USA. Deje me oírlo for Miss Germany. Number five is Miss Venezuela. One more name and we're halfway there. Here comes Miss Austria. your heads out there as if you'd picked the right ones. Did you pick Miss Spain? And how many of you spotted Miss Argentina? While things are going Latin, here comes Miss Nicaragua. Number 10 
on my list of semifinalists is Miss Columbia. Here we have ten girls who have a chance to become Miss Universe of 1977. Only two more girls to go, and one is Miss Holland. One more name, and it is Miss Dominican Republic. Take a look at our 12 semi-finalists. One of them will become Miss Universe of 1977. chat with our 12 semi-finalists, beginning with, with you, Miss Trinidad Tobago. Would you come over here to me? This is Janelle Comisong, and she's from Diego Martin. She's 24, and you are a fashion buyer, and you speak perfect English. Yes, I do. Where have you lived beside Trinidad Tobago? I lived in New York for 10 years. They speak English in New York. That's right. Kind of. <laughs> How long have you lived in Trinidad Tobago? Um, totally 14 years. How long have you lived there this time? I mean, One year. Just one year. Yes. You just got back in time yes, to become Miss in Trinidad Tobago. Yes. Well, now, you have been here for more than a week, and you've met some nice people, and you've seen some beautiful sights. How, what are your impressions of the Dominican Republic? Well, the people are very warm. Food has been quite good. And the island is very beautiful. The way you talk, you might be back as Miss Dominican <laughs> Republic next year, huh? I might. All right. Thank you, Miss Trinidad Thank Tobago. You. Miss Germany, would you come out here to me? Miss Germany is Marie Louise Gossen. She's from Munich. She is 24 years old, and she speaks virtually no English. Now, it's Marie Marie Louise. Marie Louise. Yeah. Uh, what words do you know in English? Tell me oh. one word or two or three. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> well, I need a drink. Yes. <laughs> now we're back to Cerveza again, huh? That's where I started in the Dominican Republic. Okay. <laughs> I need a drink. Yes. Very good. Whiskey. <laughs> what, what else? Whiskey. Whiskey. Yes. Well, <laughs> yes. Tune in tomorrow and see, does Miss Germany drink? No, Miss Germany, what other words do you know? Oh. More words in English? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes? You've never been in the United States. I'll t I'm, I'm going to teach you the name of my television show in the United States. I'm going to teach you I, something I am, very I important. I am very happy, yes. This is yes. very important. Yes. Say after me. Price is right. Price is right. <laughs> Price yes. is right. Price is right. Starring? Starring? Bob Barker. Bob Barker. <laughs> now you have the whole thing. Thank you, Miss Germany. <laughs> Miss Austria is Eva Marie Duringer. She's from Dornburn. She's 17. She's a high school student. And she speaks almost no English. 
but some. Uh, a little bit, not too much. You and I mm -hmm. were supposed to go out to Campo de Casas. Yes. And we did not go. Yes. <laughs> Tell them why. Oh, uh, they... Is it Casa de Campos? And I said Campo de Casas. <laughs> Mr. Trunquiso, which one is it? Tell me, sir. It is Casa de Campo. Casa de Campo. Thank you, sir. That's Mr. Truncoso. Now, Miss Austria, you tell them why we did not go. Oh, we were too, uh, too uh, heavy. All the persons were too heavy. We were too much persons and we were too heavy. <laughs> and so the plane the could plane not fly. The plane could not fly, no. <laughs> and so what happened? Did we wait? We waited for a long, long time, and the bus didn't come, and the plane didn't come, and nothing came. And then you said to me, I shall make hitchhiking. You shall make yes. hitchhiking, right. Now show them how I taught you to hitchhike. <laughs> show them. Um, like this. <laughs> there you go. Wouldn't you pick her up and give her a ride? Thank you, Miss Austria. You hitchhike back there. Miss Argentina. It's Maritza Gerardo. She's from Buenos Aires. She's 24. She's studying to be a dentist. And again, she speaks no English. Habla Espanol? Sí. Good. Now, usted, dentista? Odontóloga, sí. Es, está Aún estudiando. No. Uh -huh. Me falta un año. El año que viene, si Dios quiere, me recibo. That's just the way I would have said it. Exactly. <laughs> ¿Le gusta a usted... La República Dominicana. Sí, me gusta mucho. Me gusta su clima, me gusta su gente. Es muy lindo, muy lindo y nos han atendido muy, muy, muy bien. She likes the Dominican Republic very much. She likes the people. She likes the climate. She likes everything about it. And you would like to come back and visit. Ay, no entiendo. I beg your pardon. Oh, you don't speak English. That's right. <laughs> Adiós. <laughs> Miss Colombia. That's the word I'm going to remember all through these interviews. Uh, Aura Maria Mojica. Sí. Fr from Buga. She's 18. She's an art student. Now, this young lady has really been a problem because she has... Whatever I've asked her, she likes all flowers. She likes all food. She likes all music. She likes... Uh, she, and she speaks no... Have you learned any English? No. E Ni una palabra. Ni una palabra. <laughs> Nada. Nada. Digamy, yes. Yes. Digamy, no. No. You speak English. <laughs> ¿Cuál es esto? Nariz. That's right, it is her nariz. Uh, in English. No sé. No sé, that's it. <laughs> Adios. I tell you, this is an educational program we have here. This Dominican Republic. Miss Dominican Republic speaks English. She speaks English. She's Blanca Aurora Sardinas. She's from Santo Domingo. She's 23. She is a university student and she's studying psychology. And I'll bet you're excited about having all this happen in your hometown. Oh, very much, very much. And I will bet the young men, those muchachos, are excited. Oh, as well. <laughs> yes, because they, many of them, have been escorting the girls. And they've liked the girls, and I think all of them have had a very good time. Yes, I think so, too. Uh, have, they've been asking questions about the girls, and the girls asking questions about the boys, oh. because you know most of the boys, don't you? Oh, yes, we've had a lot of problems, because since most of the girls don't speak English or Spanish, then we had translators with them. So even to the discotheque, we had to go with the young ladies and the translators. Yes. But I think even with that problem, they had a good time. It's hard to translate the salsa. It really is. But Especially the merengue. Yes. But now, does a young man pick out a favorite and dance with her all evening? No, you're not supposed to dance. Only two songs and that's it. With the same girl? With the same girl. Just like the United Nations. One vote One per vote, nation. One vote, yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Miss You're Dominican welcome. Republic. Thank you. There you go. Now, you have met the first six of our Miss Universe semi-finalists. And before you meet the others, Helen O'Connell is going to take us to one of Santa Domingo's most famous landmarks. Christopher Columbus. 
You're seeing me on videotape now because that was the only way we could take you on a tour of this magnificent structure. The cathedral was begun in 1514 and took more than a quarter of a century to complete. Services are still held here every single day. And each year, tourists by the thousands from all over the world come to see this superb example of Spanish Renaissance architecture with its intricate system of four-way domes, its elaborate altars, and its beautiful shrines. But of course, the principal reason for its fame and popularity is that since the middle of the 16th century, it has housed the remains of Christopher Columbus. This incredible mausoleum is made of Italian marble, Mexican onyx, and gold, and was presented by the Spanish government in 1892 on the 400th anniversary of Columbus's discovery of America. The casket itself is made of bronze. And once a year, on October 12th, Columbus's birthday, the casket is open. The president of the Dominican Republic, Dr. Joaquin Balaguer, was gracious enough to permit us to photograph this tomb. Thank you very much, President Balaguer, for letting us honor a man as important to your country as he is to the United States, Christopher Columbus. We have six more semi-finalists to meet, beginning with you, Miss Holland. Right down to me, please. She is Annika Behrens. She's from Amsterdam. She's 25. And you speak a little English. Yes, I do. So we will find out about Holland. Are there really tulips in Holland? Oh, yes, a lot. In spring only. Spring only. Uh, are there wooden shoes in Holland? Yes. They still exist. That's about all I can think of to ask about Holland. Uh, have you been to the United States? Yes. Where? I was in New York last year. Tell me what you thought of New York. Oh, I love it there. Especially the nightlife. <laughs> yes, now we're back to I want a drink. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Holland. <laughs> Miss Nicaragua. Beatrice Obregon of Managua, 18, wants to study psychology. And you speak very little English. Little. Little. Okay. I'm getting so I speak little English myself. You have learned, aprendido, decir lo que usted quiere. Yes. Yes. Now, tell me in English something you want. What do you want? I want a kiss. You want a kiss? Más tarde, chica. No, no, I didn't mean that. You know I didn't mean that. No, I want to come back next year. Uh, what else can you say? I want what? Um, I want a very... I don't know. You don't, don't know what you English. want? I don't know what you want. You are una mujer typical. You don't know what you want. I want typical woman. You want... You are what? No. Oh, I'm very happy today. Other work. I'm very happy today, too, and I want out of this. Goodbye, Miss yeah. Nicaragua. <laughs> Miss Spain. She is Luz Maria Polegre Hernandez de Santa Cruz de Tenerife in the Canary Islands, 19, studying pharmacy and speaks very little English. But you have a musical family. Ah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. What does um, your father play? Uh, my father played um, the violin. Violin? violin. Do you understand? Yes, uh -huh. the violin. The, yes, uh, the violin. Uh, and what does your mother play? <laughs> Piano. Piano. Yeah. What does your brother play? Um, yeah, bateria. A bateria. Do you understand? Something? No, but that's not important. Uh, <laughs> we're finding out about your family. What does your sister play? My sister, mm, the guitar. What do you play? Bandurria. Do you do this often, all together? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jugar mucho, uh, juntar? Oh, yes. Um, en su casa? Orquest family. Uh, and the neighbors complain? All the family. 
Huh? Do the neighbors complain? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Como se dice complain? Que, quedar? No, that's to stay. Que... Ah, no, no, no. Al contrario. <laughs> Le gusta. Oh, sí, todos oh, los vecinos. Sure, I bet they do. Thank you, Miss Spain. Yeah. Miss Venezuela. Cristal Montañez of Caracas, 17, student. And what do you study? Architecture. What kind of architecture? Civil architecture. Civil architecture? Yes. Yeah. And what do you want to do in the future? Um, ¿Qué quiere hacer en el futuro? Muchas cosas, muchas cosas. Uh, um, ¿Qué quiere que le diga? Uh, what do you want? I want to think of something else I can say in Spanish, is what I'm trying to say. Think of. <laughs> what have you been doing this week? ¿Qué hace en la República Dominicana? Oh, conociendo mucha gente, compartiendo con mis amigas y hablando con Mr. Bob Barker. Ah, gracias, señorita. Adiós. <laughs> Miss USA, she's been talking with her friends, she's been talking with the girls, and she's been talking with Bob Barker, and that's just what's been happening. Now, this is Kim Tome. She's from Houston. She's 21. She's a student at Texas A&M, and she's been in the Dominican Republic how long? For two weeks, I So you were here on the 4th of July? Sure, that was great. And that was a big holiday back home. What happened here on the 4th of July? Well, I was really surprised. They took us out to the American Embassy, and we got to eat hot dogs. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, it was great, with mustard and relish. And you had a uh, 4th of Gi July celebration at the American Embassy? Yes. That's fine. And what else exciting has happened to you since you became Miss USA? Oh, I've traveled a lot of places and met a lot of exciting people and, and gained a lot of weight. <laughs> oh, you're still lovely, and the swimsuit competition is coming up. Thank you, Miss USA. Miss Scotland. Sandra Bell. Sandra Bell of Motherwell, 18, works for a steel company. And, Sandra, it's a pleasure to have you among our 12. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I should think so. Now, how would you compare this wonderful country with Scotland? It's completely different. Scotland's cold and this country's very warm. And you haven't seen anyone in kilts? No, not at all. And you haven't seen anyone playing bagpipes? No, just me. Have you seen anyone drinking scotch? Um, no. I have. <laughs> That's something that Scotland has in, in common with the Dominican Republic. Thank you very much, Miss Scotland. Now you've met our semi-finalists. Which one do you think will be Miss Universe of 1977? Now let's hear this message about Safeguard Deodorant Soap. To the contestants, the judging is really the heart and soul of the Miss Universe pageant. And this year, our judges panel is not only highly qualified, but truly international. I'd like to have you meet our judges right now. One of the top creative designers in the world of contemporary fashion and a native of the Dominican Republic, Oscar de la Renta. The dynamic force behind the prestigious New York modeling agency that bears her name and a world-renowned beauty in her own right, Wilhelmina! <laughs> the world's leading authority on hair, beauty innovator, author, and business executive, Vidal Sassoon! The gifted, prize-winning photographer who also is a highly respected novelist, poet, and motion picture and television director, Gordon Parks. <laughs> the beautiful film, stage, and television star whose nightclub act is popular throughout Europe and Latin America and who just recorded her first album all in Spanish, Linda Cristal. former chief of worldwide productions for Paramount Pictures, who since becoming an independent producer has a perfect record of artistic and commercial hits. 
including Chinatown, Marathon Man, and Black Sunday, Robert Evans. <laughs> Miss Universe of 1970, now a popular television hostess, model, and businesswoman in her native Puerto Rico, Marisol Malaret. Florentine artist, fashion designer, and originator of hand paintings screened on leather and suede, whose clients include internationally known celebrities, Roberto Cavalli. <laughs> the film producer, director, who recently was elected president of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts, and Sciences, Howard W. Koch. One of the Dominican Republic's outstanding businessmen and promoters of tourism, J. Armando Bermudez. <laughs> the world's most famous psychic, known for bending metal solely with the energy of his mind, Yuri Geller. One of America's favorite song stylists, a star of television, supper clubs, and concert halls throughout the world, and the winner of virtually every award in the recording industry, Dionne Warwick. Thank you very much, judges. And there are two more gentlemen here in the theater I would like to introduce. The Secretary of Tourism of the Republic of Mexico, who is here to extend the Mexican government's official invitation to host the 1978 Miss Universe pageant in the capital city of Mexico, Senor Guillermo Rosell. And also from Mexico, here is one of the world's most esteemed actors, Cantinflas. A very dedicated gentleman named Pradique Lizardo has spent his life researching the folk dances that are native to this country. And now he's founded the first Dominican folk ballet company. Our own choreographer, Gene Bayless, has worked closely with Senor Lizardo, and we're proud to be part of this world premiere of the wonderful Dominican Republic Ballet Folklorico. <laughs>
most modern theaters in the whole world, and this is what it looks like from here on stage. The theater was designed by Teofilo Carbonell, a brilliant Dominican architect, <laughs> and opened in 1973, and it immediately became the cultural center of the whole country, and a magnificent home for opera and ballet performances, dramas, concerts of all kinds. The symphony orchestra performs here, too, and the house is acoustically perfect. This week, the theater is making its debut as the site of an international television program. Wow. And its size and facilities have proved to be just amazingly flexible. There are TV cameras in the most unlikely places, like, for instance, way up there. These huge scaffolds have been built to accommodate all of our special lighting equipment. And back here in the wings, they've built a separate room for our camera and a control shading equipment. Are you in there, fellas? Holding down the fort. And behind it, back there, is an audio room and videotape room. Thank you. And here's the control room. It's busy back here. Which is the nerve center of any television show. All right. So you can see that while the show you're watching is taking place on stage, there's another very lively show going on backstage, right back here. Now let's hear this message about Sure Roll-On. It's time for the judges to mark their ballots again because we're ready for the official swimsuit competition. You'll notice that our 12 semi-finalists are wearing identical swimsuits, but no two Miss Universe candidates are ever alike. So all of you judges here in the theater and at home too, watch closely as we introduce the Miss Universe swimsuit competition. First, Miss Scotland. She has brown hair and brown eyes. Sandra's Miss ambition is to design and build her own house with a bathtub as big as a swimming pool. Miss Trinidad Tobago. Janelle has dark brown hair and brown eyes. In all her 24 years, Janelle confesses she has never had an embarrassing moment. Either she's got nerves of steel or she's just not telling. Miss USA. Miss USA is a 21-year-old blonde-eyed, blue-eyed blonde. Kimberly she says she'll only get married when Mr. Perfect comes along. And I hear tell a lot of eligibles are vying for that title. Miss Germany. Mary Louise is 24 years of age. Light brown hair and brown eyes. Her hobbies are bicycling, cooking, dancing, and reading. And her favorite magazine is <coughs> Playboy. Miss Venezuela. Crystal has light brown hair. She's 17. And here's a girl who never has to worry about being lonely. She has a brother, a sister, and 72 cousins. Miss Austria. Eva is a hazel-eyed blonde who confesses to loving candy and cake and anything sweet. So to work off the calories, she swims, jogs, and plays tennis. She's also an expert skier. Miss Spain. Luz Maria is a 19-year-old green-eyed brunette. She'd like to meet Robert Redford, Rock Hudson, Frank Sinatra, and Jimmy Carter. Well, who wouldn't? Miss Argentina. Marisa is a green-eyed 24-year-old with brown hair. She loves animals. Among her pets are a horse, a dog, a cat, and a few turtles. <laughs> Miss Nicaragua. Beatrice is an 18-year-old with dark brown hair and brown eyes. She says her type of man is mature in every way, like Dustin Hoffman. Miss Columbia. Ora Maria is 18 years old, 
and loved everything about being on TV except not being able to see herself on the screen. Or else you just have to take it out with our 500 million other viewers. Miss Holland. Inika has chestnut hair and green eyes. You know, all the girls in the pageant got together last week and gave her a surprise birthday party, which I missed. So happy 25th, Annika. Miss Dominican Republic. Blanca Aurora is 23. As a representative of our, our host country, she's expressed great pride in the Dominican Republic, and we all agree her country should have great pride in her, too. And there are the beautiful Miss Universe semi-finalists in the official swimsuit competition. Well, when the contestants arrived in the Dominican Republic just two weeks ago, some of them headed immediately to the pools and the beaches, some couldn't wait to shop in the colorful markets, and others wanted to visit historical places. So we made sure every one of them had a chance to do just about everything. Now here they are in their young Edwardian dresses by Arpeggia, seeing all the sights. The ladies got their first taste of Dominican hospitality when their American Airlines jet arrived at the International Airport of the Americas here in Santa, Santa Domingo, and they were greeted by a merengue band, of course. It didn't take long for shoppers in the group to find the best bargains in town. Miss Dominican Republic was happy to demonstrate the proper way to wear a sombrero, and Miss Israel loved the local fruits and vegetables. The contestants took a tram ride through the botanical gardens, the largest in Latin America, incidentally, and they sampled popular drinks, coconut juice, right out of the coconut. And they learned an interesting tradition, too. A lady wears a hibiscus on one side of her face or the other, depending on her marital status. Well, that's one way to let the fellas know. <laughs> and then the ladies toured the old section of Santo Domingo and walked through the gates that were once the entrance to the city. And you'd think that after all that walking, they'd be exhausted. But at the hotel discotheque, every girl danced every dance. Yeah. And then they visited the new statue of Juan Pablo Duarte, the great national hero who is considered the father of his country, and met the sculptor and several city officials. Then, at a beautiful reception at the presidential palace, the contestants met Dr. Joaquin Balaguer, the president of the Dominican Republic, and brought him greetings from the people of their own countries. Now you know why all of our lovely contestants will remember this holiday in the Dominican Republic for the rest of their lives. And we will return after this message from Cascade. Now we don't know who Miss Universe of 1977 is as yet, but we do know that she's going to enjoy a year of exciting travel to all parts of this world and more awards and prizes than any Miss Universe before her. She'll receive a $10,000 cash award, a $10,000 personal appearance contract, a $3,500 Sarah Coventry scholarship, and for the very first time ever, the new Miss Universe will have a chance for a glamorous and exciting career as a motion picture actress because she'll receive a Paramount Pictures film contract with a minimum guaranteed $15,000 salary. Miss Universe will fly around the world on Pan Am's famous Flight One and enjoy their 747 Jet Clipper service, including meals in the upstairs dining room on Pan Am, world's most experienced airline. A fashion collection by Patty O'Neill, including a restaurant dress of Nomel acrylic and wool, and one that can be worn on or off shoulder. From Arpeggia, a wardrobe of young Edwardian dresses and organically grown sweaters, including this short suede dress with three-quarter sleeves and tapestry inset. Here's Miss Universe in a natural black glamour ranch mink coat from the International Flemington Fur Company. And you got it, Miss Universe. Great style, sensational features, true quality. You got it, Miss Universe. The Toyota Celica GT Liftback. The evening gown competition will be your next chance to see the 12 ladies who are still in contention for the Miss Universe crown. But now all the other contestants have some special musical entertainment for you, and I know you're going to enjoy it. The Miss Universe Merengue Medley. <laughs>
I'm renewing some acquaintances, too. This year, four lovely ladies who have known the thrill and honor of wearing the Miss Universe crown are with us here in Santa Domingo. A little while ago, Bob Barker introduced Miss Universe of 1970, Marisol Mallorette, who is one of our judges tonight. And it's my pleasure to introduce the other former winners. First of all, Miss Universe of 1964 from Greece, Corinna Sopai Zaks. Yeah. And next, here's Miss Universe of 1966 from Sweden, Margareta Arvidsson Stupikov. And Miss Universe of 1975 from Finland, Anne-Marie Potomo. very much ladies you certainly made this year's pageant very special for all of us and it's a treat to have you all with us now a word about the soft smooth beautiful feeling of came in the evening gown competition each contestant wears a gown she selected herself and all 12 of them are going to be serenaded by one of the most popular singers in the Dominican Republic. Here is the Miss Universe Evening Gown Competition, the trio Juglares and Senor Fernando Casado. Mi deseo 
labios busco para besar tus labios busco para besar cuántas veces soñando tu mano suave sentido cuántas veces consider the serious business of diapers. In just a few moments, the judges must choose five finalists, and because that's such a difficult thing to do, we're going to give them, and you at home, one last chance to see each of the 12 candidates. Here again are the Miss Universe semi-finalists for 1977. Miss Scotland. the sign of Virgo. She's very warm and affectionate, and you can tell her anything because she's great at keeping a secret. Miss Trinidad Tobago. And Gemini is the sign of Miss Trinidad Tobago, and that means she loves to talk. That's one reason she's so popular at parties. Miss USA. Miss USA is a legal. Leo. She'll probably be one of the most generous young women you're likely to meet. Miss Germany. Aries is Miss Germany's zodiac sign. You can bet she's got a very adventurous nature and independent, too. Miss Venezuela. This lady is an Aquarian. She doesn't like to talk about herself, but ask someone who knows her, and you learn that she's unusually creative and extremely generous. Miss Austria. Now, here's a Libra, and if Miss Austria is like most Libras, she'll defend your right to disagree with her. Miss Spain. is a Gemini, and Geminis are always eager to learn. Mention a subject she knows nothing about, and she'll make it her business to become an expert instantly. Miss Argentina. Scorpio is the sun sign of Miss Argentina. Scorpios sometimes seem to be a little shy. They even hate to brag. But they have lots to brag about. Miss Nicaragua. Miss Nicaragua's zodiac symbol is the goat. She's a Capricorn. Most Capricorns are very conscientious. Miss Colombia. Is a Sagittarian, and that means she's a born traveler. She'll jump at the chance to visit a new country no matter how long it takes her to get there. Miss Holland. Under the sign of cancer is Miss Holland, and she's probably a homebody, and if she's typical, she's terribly conservative where money is concerned. Miss Dominican Republic. And she's a Capricorn. Those born under that sign are studious, persevering, and serious. And judges, these are our 12 semi-finalists. Please select five finalists for the title of Miss USA of 1977. Oh, 
public are always fascinated by one of the country's most important products, ember. It's one of the oldest gems known to man. It's actually formed from hardened resin of gigantic prehistoric trees. And in its natural form, it looks like this. When the resin fell from the trees, it often fell on, <clears throat> excuse me, fell on vegetation or insects and preserved them for posterity. Let me show you. Sometimes, some of the best amber contains bits of leaves or twigs, or whole insects even. Isn't that something? And when the amber is cut and polished, it's made into really gorgeous jewelry, like these earrings. How about this? How's that for a ring? No wonder so many people consider amber one of our most beautiful and valuable stones. We will return after this message from Ivory Liquid. I don't know how many of you noticed it, but a moment ago I asked our judges to choose the five finalists for the Miss USA crown. They did better than that, though. They knew we were doing the Miss Universe pageant. Our accountants from the internationally known firm of Ernst & Ernst have tabulated the balance once more. And they have just given me a list of the contestants the judges have chosen as tonight's finalists. Now, one of the young ladies whose names appears on this card will be our new Miss Universe. Girls, good luck to you. The first of the five finalists is Miss Germany. <laughs> Finalist number two is Miss Scotland. <laughs> number three on the list of five finalists is Miss Austria. Here is Miss Trinidad Tobago. As you can plainly see, we have room for only one more, and to fill that spot, here is Miss Colombia. Congratulations, finalists. Now the judges have chosen you five finalists for your beauty, poise, and personality. Now you at home have one last chance to decide who you think should be Miss Universe. I'm going to ask each of our finalists one question, and their answers should help you make up your mind. Now, I have five questions here, and we have interpreters standing by if any of our contestants should want an interpreter. May I have you down here with me, Miss Scotland, please? Of course, I know that you will not want an interpreter. I want you to take one of the five questions. Each one is a different question. And your question is, you have just spent two weeks with young women from countries in every part of the world. What have you gained from this experience? I have gained many friendships from all the contestants as, as they have been very lovely and I have got on well with all the girls and I'd like to thank them very much. Thank you, Miss Scotland. Now, Miss Trinidad Tobago. We have four questions remaining. Take one. And her question is, one of the prizes the new Miss Universe will receive is a trip around the world. What country would you most like to visit and why? I think the Far East, because it's currently becoming a very industrial country, and also because of the culture. Thank you, Miss Trinidad Tobago. Miss Colombia? Now, you will want an interpreter, will you not? Yes. You are our Spanish interpreter. Will you step right up here, please, sir? Take one of those three questions. Now, will you please listen carefully, sir? Her question is, in addition to becoming Miss Universe, what is the one thing she would like most to do in her lifetime? Además de que el Miss Universo, ¿qué sería la otra cosa que le gustaría hacer más en su vida? Bueno, la otra cosa que me gustaría hacer más en mi vida sería continuar mis estudios, eh, llegar a tener una agencia de publicidad, que es una inversión muy grande, 
eh, algún día en el futuro realizarme como mujer, poder vivir, conocer el mundo, conocer mucha gente. Yo creo que eso es lo más lindo que uno puede ambicionar como mujer. Would you tell us what she said, please, in English? She says she would like to continue her studies, develop her education, to get along with all the people, develop her womanship, become a full woman, and renown within society. Thank you very much, and thank you, Miss Columbia. Miss Austria, take a question. Now, do you wish to have this in English? No, I would like to speak in German. All right, fine. Suzanne, would you step out here, please? And her question is, if she could take some of the Miss Universe contestants on a one-day tour of her home city, what would she show them? Wenn Sie können eine von diesen Mädchen mit Ihnen nehmen zu Ihrer Stadt, was wollen Sie zeigen? Uh, wenn es im Winter wäre, würde ich mit Ihnen Skifahren gehen. Ich würde Ihnen Skifahren lernen, wenn Sie möchten, oder sonst rodeln oder irgendeinen Spaß mit dem Skiern, also mit Schnee. What did she say? She said, if it is winter, she would take them skiing and teach them how to ski if they don't know how to do it. I think they'd love that. Thank you very much, Miss Austria. Miss Germany, please. Suzanne, I think you better stay with me. Miss Germany will want an interpreter too, I'm sure. Her question is, a Miss Universe must be beautiful, of course. But what other qualities does she think she should have? Does she think that Miss Universe should have? Er fragte, er weiß, dass die Miss Universe muss schön sein. Aber was andere Sachen soll sie haben? Sie soll intelligent sein, denke ich, ja. Und sie soll freundlich sein zu der ganzen Welt eben. Das denke ich, ja. Uh, she thinks that besides being beautiful, she should be very nice and very uh, pleasant to other people. Thank you, and thank you, Miss Germany. Now, judges, it's time for your most important decision. Please choose four runners-up and Miss Universe of 1977. And now a word about all temperature cheers. In a very few moments, one of our five finalists will receive her crown from the beautiful young lady who tonight ends a successful and very happy year-long reign. Let's welcome our reigning Miss Universe for her traditional walk and words of farewell. Miss Universe of 1976, Israel's Rena Messinger. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A year ago, on the stage in Hong Kong, I was crowned Miss Universe of 1976. Today, after an unforgettable year of traveling around the world, meeting exciting and wonderful people, and serving as an ambassadress of goodwill, human understanding, and peace, I want to extend my deep appreciation to everyone who trusted me to wear this crown with pride. My special thanks go to all of the wonderful people in Miss Universe Incorporated and Mrs. Mary Costanzo who traveled with me all year long and to my parents who I'm happy to say are here with me tonight. And my best wishes and blessings go to, go to all... Thank you. My best wishes and blessings go to the lucky young lady who will be privileged to reign as Miss Universe of 1977. Thank you, Rena Messinger, Miss Universe of 1976. Now, finalists, I have just been handed that all-important list. I have here the four runners-up and the new Miss Universe. The moment we have all been waiting for is here. 
and the most incredible 365 days in your life is about to begin for one of you five young ladies. Good luck to all of you. I shall begin with the fourth runner-up. The fourth runner-up is Miss Germany. The third runner-up is Miss Colombia. The second runner-up is Miss Scotland. Both of you please come to me, right down here. One of you is about to become Miss Universe, the other will be the first runner-up. The position of first runner-up is very important, because if for any reason Miss Universe cannot fulfill her responsibilities for the entire year, then the first runner-up becomes Miss Universe. The first runner-up is Miss Austria, Miss Trinidad Tobago is Miss Universe. Congratulations, Janelle. Yes. And your bouquet. Miss Universe of 1977 is Janelle Comisong who just a few moments ago was Miss Trinidad Tobago. And now, as your predecessor, Rena Messinger, reads the Miss Universe Creed, will you make your first official walk and greet this wonderful audience in Santa Domingo? We, the young women of the universe, believe people everywhere are seeking peace, tolerance, and mutual understanding. We pledge to spread this message in every way we can, wherever we go. Welcome Miss Trinidad Tobago, the suspense is over. She's a beautiful and charming young lady and what a fabulous year lies ahead for her. It's been a wonderful evening and we're very happy that you were here to wish you Thank you for joining us. Good night. Good night. Bob Barker <laughs> saying good night, everybody. The 1977 Miss Universe Beauty Pageant has been brought to you by Dry Formula Secret. Strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. And by All Temperature Cheer. All Temperature. And by Mild Ivory Liquid. It helps keep your hands looking almost as young as you feel. Assistance by suppliers and drivers. From Santa Domingo, this is Chuck Blake. Good night, everybody.